Hi, I'm Bill Griffith. In this demo, I'm going to teach you how to build a frequently asked question chatbot in IBM Watson Developer Cloud. This is a chatbot service that's available on IBM's cloud. So where do I get an FAQ? Well, let's go to IBM Business Process Manager on Cloud. And you'll see here there's an FAQ question. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to translate all of this into an FAQ so that my customers can ask these questions in a variety of ways. So go to Bluemix, find my service tab, create a service. I'm going to do conversation. And there it is. So let's just call it conversation BPM. And you'll see the pricing, right? The 10,000 API calls a month are free. Exciting, very good for development. So I'm creating the service, and um, you'll see that it doesn't require any kind of programming, no advanced scripting. Uh, it includes this built-in tool, this uh, uh, tool where you train it on the intents. I'm going to create a new workspace, the intents, and the entities and the dialogue. So this is going to be called uh, BPM OC FAQ. Just use English. And I'm going to create an intent, which is what am I actually asking? So I'm going to create a new intent. And let's call this first one. Let's see here. Does BPM Manager on Cloud have the same capabilities? So I'm going to call this uh, BPM OC Capabilities. And one example of the way that question is asked is this. Uh, Sorry, looks like I did not have the FAQ up here. So here's the FAQ page that I was mentioning. <clears throat> Paste this in, I hit enter, and done with that. And obviously you could ask that a lot of different ways and we'll do that, but let's do this one. This one is can I migrate BPM um, on-prem to on-cloud? Well, that's a new type of question. <clears throat> that's gonna be BPM OC migration questions, right? And here's an example. Paste that in, done with that. Let's do the next one. What is a user? All right, that's one example. <clears throat> and I'm gonna say, you know, what is user? I'm gonna paste that in. Now, the secret to this training is to give it multiple examples, right? So I say, what is a user? I might also say, you know, uh, do developers count as users? I might say, uh, do I need a user license for my administrators? <clears throat> right? So multiple ways of asking this exact same question. And that's really the secret to this machine learning uh, capability is that you can't hard code all of these different keywords that would match to this. You need a machine learning model that can learn by example and deduce what you were asking your intention even though you ask it in a variety of ways. <clears throat> okay, so now what's the other question after user? Single sign-on. <clears throat> Go in here, create a new one called uh, BPM OC SSO. And an example is this. And then again, you might say you know, do you support SSO? Can I can I use my own LDAP? <clears throat> um, uh, is SAML supported? Right, variety of ways of asking that. Okay, then I'm done. Now, normally you would have entities to further delineate what the question was about. In this case, we're just doing an FAQ. So I'm going to jump over to the dialog. <clears throat> and you see it comes uh, out of the box with, you know, the welcome. So I'm going to change what it says and say something like, uh, Hi, I'm your BPM OC uh, uh, FAQ chatbot. Ask away. All right? <clears throat> okay. And then I'm going to put in the intentions. So the first intention is the capabilities. <clears throat> so what is the condition I'm looking for? BPM 
OC capabilities. I'm going to choose it, and then I'm going to say, what am I going to respond with? So they ask the question. I know the answer. Here's the answer. <clears throat> Copy that, paste that, and done. I'm going to do the next one. Next FAQ, which was this one. Uh, that's the question. Here's the answer. So I already typed in the uh, migrate. So now I'm going to do this one, which is BPM OC migration. And you see it gives me the choices to select from. I'm going to pop up and I'm going to reply back with the answer. <clears throat> what is a user? Let's add that one. All right. The condition is what is a user? And then I'm going to reply back with the answer. <clears throat> and then the final one, single sign-on. So then I'm going to say add a new node uh, and a BPM single sign-on and there's the answer. Okay, And that's it. Now I have these FAQs I can ask. So I'm going to go into the built-in testing tool and notice it changed to I'm your chatbot. So I'm going to say, uh, how do I log in? Right? It thinks I'm talking about single sign-on because that's the closest to log on, login, even though I didn't say login in the training. Right? I'm going to say, do I need a user ID for my programmers and it's again replying with what is a user now you'll recall that the training I gave it is um, back in the entities for what is a user I said developers I did not say programmers but Watson already understands the English language well enough to know that's the same thing so it provides the answer and it's that quick it's even easier, you can actually import these from a CSV. So, you know, put in all of the common questions and the intents in a uh, spreadsheet, uh, comma delimit it, and you can import it to jumpstart this even faster. Now, in this case, I only provided a couple uh, example questions. Obviously, the more examples, the more accurate you're going to be. In fact, uh, the ideal approach is to have multiple people ask these questions in a variety of ways so your AI system is not uh, overly biased uh, one way and you'll get a better system. Uh, so out of the box you see that uh, Watson is ready to go and now let's say if I ask something that is out of scope, you know, are you Skynet? You see that? That does not match any of these intentions. So it says I didn't understand. But if it did, then I could actually say it's one of these. And that would be the ability to retrain it right there. Now, you don't want your bot to relearn on its own. You need somebody to supervise that training to ensure that it is properly trained. Um, and so uh, the IBM Conversation um, framework uh, makes that possible. You can then deploy it to various runtimes. You can then also get uh, reports. In this case, I don't have it deployed, but you can do the analytics to see how often, what are the common intents, what are people asking, so that you can improve. And that's the key. You want something that can be improved uh, over time and learn and get smarter. Thank you.